Some of the most popular videos on this platform, YouTube and other social media platforms, for some people, at least I'm thinking of people like my young nephews, is fail videos. Hashtag epic fail. I'm sure if I called this pasta falls over and I tripped up and rolled around the floor, that would get much more hits than just me standing there talking to the camera. It's the spirit of what in my day was, you've been framed. Maybe I'm showing my age, but we love to laugh at things going wrong, people trying something clever and it not working out. I can think of times in church ministry where we've done events and nobody's really turned up, where the technology's gone wrong, where the outcome has not been what we hoped for. For those who do music worship and play in bands, there's a whole channel on Instagram called Worship Fails, where the technology goes wrong, where people try and do things and they're in the wrong key and it all goes wrong. Maybe on a more serious level though, we've tried to help people in relationships and in other ways and the outcome has not been the one we'd hoped and prayed for. What do you do when it fails? What do you do when it feels like it's all gone wrong? In our Bible teaching this week, we were looking at Exodus chapter 5. We're continuing the story of Exodus and Moses seems to be beginning what he was called to do. And he goes to Pharaoh, the ruler of Egypt, and says, let my people go. But rather than let the people go, Pharaoh just gets more annoyed. And now the people that Moses is trying to help have to do more work. They have to make the same amount of bricks, but without the straw, the key ingredient. It's a bit of a failure. Moses tries to help, he tries to do the right thing, but it all just goes a bit wrong. Well, what do you do when you've failed? Where do you go? You see, often our instinct is, oh, it's gone wrong, I need to hide away, I'm embarrassed, I'm ashamed, I don't know what to do. Maybe we want to moan, maybe we want to blame someone else. Moses, at the end of Exodus 5, goes back to God. That's the best thing to do when we fail, not to hide, not to run away. Our failures are not the final word, if we are in Christ. We follow Jesus, the one who was perfect, the only one who was without sin, who didn't fail. In this life, things do go wrong. We do have failures. But God is gracious. His promise stands. He reassures Moses he is with him. He has called him and the promise of his word. So may we keep going. May we keep picking ourselves up, knowing that God's mercies are new every morning. This is our midweek thought. We'd love to see you in our building for worship. We'd love to hear from you. Why not reach out, say hi. God bless, keep in touch and take care.